this your boy Boston. Today I'm back again with another banger for you guys. Today we're heading to my favorite fish store in my area. We're gonna look at some fish and I'm sure I'm gonna pick some stuff up. So stay tuned, it's gonna be super lit. So we at the pet store and I'll just give y'all a quick little look around. I'm not gonna show y'all a full tour because we'll be back, but let's just say this is the best place you can ever come and get some fish at. But currently right now, this is all everything that I'm picking up. I got some beautiful wild mollies, sore tails. And I have some tuxedo sore tail mollies. And we picked up some Serpe Tetras for the Tetra tank at home. And we picked up a beautiful leaf fish. Can't wait to get him in the tank. He gets really big. And last but not least, we picked up some albino silver tip Tetras. So these is all the fish that I'm getting and I'm sure there's some more I'm getting two, but I forgot. He working on it right now, but this is what I'm picking up. I'm picking up some pearl piramis also. So he's catching them right now. And like I said, if you guys want me to come back and do a full tour of this place, make sure you get this video a big like because they have some super cool fish in here. And it's just an amazing place and very good quality people, very good quality service. So. You guys been in business, what, 30 years? So over 40 years so i mean most people work what 30 and retire anyway yeah. 41 years wow <laughs> are you cranky too <laughs> Y'all might start a channel, Cranky Phil, and what's your name? So I never caught it. Cranky, uh, Cranky Phil and Carrie. Cranky Cranky. <laughs> that might be your retirement activity. I don't know. You plan on still keeping fish at home once oh, you do? I'll always have fish. That's the biggest problem is figuring out how to do it. Um, yeah. There's nobody around here I really want to get the fish from. Yeah, yeah. But I also don't get to do what I like to do with different stuff. And I mean, I do a tiny bit, but not that much. Right, right. Um, background's made or something. Like Show you guys a little bit, wrap around. Have you know? everything they got going on. Get a selection of fish that's in here. It's amazing. It has some of the best people. Rack, rack. I did have about nine tanks, but I took them down when we had termite. Mm-hmm. You say you want to set them back up and get back going again? No, yeah, it's just I don't have time to mess with them, but I'm not sure how long we're going to stay in the house we're in either. So yeah, you see y'all in the country too, huh? Yeah. But she has remodeled a little bit. Ah. Uh, we've gotten more tanks back in. Oh, over here. Got what? Oh, yeah, the bird stuff. Okay, guys, so we're finally back in the fish room. I'm going to go ahead and lay these bags right here for right now because I ain't really got nowhere else to put them. And we're going to look at everything that I got. The fish room is looking amazing today. First fish we got is these pearl gouramis. These are some beautiful gouramis here. One of my favorites. 
Um, I got a trio, uh, so I got a male and two females, and we're gonna be adding them over here to this aquarium. They're gonna be going down here with these shellies. And that's gonna give this tank a lot of life. Can't wait to see them in there. Okay, let's see what else. We got these Serpe Tetras. We got six of these, maybe seven. I can't believe, I think you gave a deal. So I think I picked up seven of these Serpe Tetras. They're gonna be going over here to this aquarium. Let me take this top off. That always seems to fall on me. We're gonna be adding them Tetras to this aquarium. What else we got? This is a beautiful Vieja. And for the guys who don't know who Viejas are, that's what that right here. I already have one. Um, so you can see how he looks now. Um, but once they color up, it's a very, very beautiful fish. Uh, can't wait to do that. He's gonna be going over here with the Oscar to grow out and quarantine over here with him. That's where the Vieja will be going. See what else we got in the fish room today. These are some albino silver tip tetras, which are awesome. Um, I got a, I think I have like three females and I mean three males and four females in here. Um, the males are a little more color, like that's a male right here with a more orange look and the, and the females are like a, a white type of uh, vinyl look to them. So these guys are gonna be also going over here to the Tetra Aquarium. It's gonna be super amazing. All right, let's see what else we got. Now this fish right here, I've been wanting to keep this for a while. I've seen it on TikTok, one of my followers has it. Uh, one of the guys I follow, his name is Predatory Fish. I'm on TikTok and he has uh, one of these big ones in his aquarium. It's super cool. I saw the scene that they had this at the fish store. I'm like, I've got to pick up a leaf fish. And uh, they get they get big and they are aggressive fish. So he's going to go in here and quarantine also with the Vieja and the Oscar. So should be fine. If I see anything, any uh, fighting or stressing, I will move them. But that's what they're going to be going for right now. Okay, so these guys here, I'm super excited about this uh, sword tail here. This is a wild species of sword tails, um, just like the ones that I have in here, as you guys can see. But these have way more color and are beautiful. So I got a trio of these. I got a male and two females, um, and they are going to be going down here to this tank that doesn't have a light currently, but will. So they're gonna be going in here and we'll be starting a beautiful colony of these sword tails in here. Can't wait to see that produce. And last but not least, if I can get the bag, we have these beautiful, get them under the light, these beautiful tuxedo sword tails. And I got a trio of these with a male and two females and they are going to be getting acclimated. Um, and haven't really decided what aquarium I'm gonna put them in. Actually, I have. Um, they're gonna be going down here in this aquarium. Um, these guppies that are in here, um, there's a strand that is kind of all over the place. It's not really breeding true for me. Um, so I think I wanted to remove those guys out of there. And I'm gonna put all of them in the uh, turtle tank with the rest of the guppies. Um, you see I have some albino ones in here already. Shout out to the turtle, look at him looking all beautiful. But yeah, so I'm gonna be moving all these guppies out of here and gonna be adding these guys. So for right now, while until I'm able to do that, we're going to be just letting these guys sit in here and get adjusted to the water um, because the fish room is super hot today. I'm not even gonna lie. So you guys get a little better look at them. So this trio is going to go ahead and go up in here with these uh, shrimp that I have. I got like some gold shrimp, gold line shrimp um, that are not producing for me. I done had them for a while and they're not doing nothing. So I'm gonna get these guppies out of here, put them in there. And then that's where those fish will be living for the future. 
because you see they produce. We got new babies over here. But overall, let me clean my mess up and let these guys acclimate. And then I'll come back and show you all the fish in the aquariums and uh, see how everything do. I'm super excited about these two fish right here because that fish for one is going to be this once I get them on my food and get this color to come out. So can't wait for that. Can't wait to see the leaf fish grow and be able to be with other, the other monsters in the tank. So stay tuned. The next day. I want to give you guys a little update on the fish. Um, they're doing amazing. Um, this is the Vieja right here. He is eating and doing good. The leaf fish has been doing awesome, but he just likes to hide a lot. Oh, there's a good shot of the leaf fish. Everybody's doing good right now. Super happy about that. I was kind of concerned thinking that these fish were gonna be, I thought the Oscar was gonna try to bully them, but he's not. He's doing, he's being a good friend right now. He's just a hungry little joker. Um, far as the Tetra tank, um, I did add the separate Tetras in here. And I believe we end up getting what the Bino Tetras, these right here. And the tank is looking amazing. As you guys can see, the tank that was over here that was housing the um, the Shelleys and the Garamis that I have put in here, I ended up just moving everything to this aquarium. So you guys can see that the Garamis are in here and they're doing beautiful. And then I went ahead and added the Shelleys in here too. And they haven't even been this active until I put them in this aquarium. Once I put them in this aquarium, they started to do a lot more, be more active, coming out more. And I believe now this is the best situation for them. And I believe that they're gonna start breeding super fast in this aquarium. They have plenty of rocks to hide in. You can see they hide in between those rocks and that driftwood. And they got a lot of action going up top so they don't have to feel so scared. Um, and these garamis are beautiful. I really, really like these. Um, that's the male right here. He has that nice orange up under his uh, throat or whatever you want to call it, in his belly. And the other ones are female. So hopefully they start breeding. Uh, if they don't, I don't care. You know, this is just a beautiful tank. This tank is, to me, it's like complete. I don't want to add any more fish to it. It's super nice. It's beautiful. And it's just a tank that I just want to enjoy now. So that came out really well. Uh, let's see. What else did I end up getting? Oh, this is the update on the tuxedos. Uh, ended up putting them here in this 10 gallon aquarium. As you can see, they're nice and happy, swimming around, doing good. Um, I moved all the guppies that were in here and I moved them down here to the turtle enclosure where they are hanging out and chilling. You can see all the vinyl ones in there. All my sunrise guppies. So this is like a, a muck guppy mixed breeding colony right here. I'm just gonna let them just do what they do and sell guppies out of there but the tuxedos are looking amazing that's the nice male right there with the sword tail on him so i'm going to get these guys fattened up and hopefully they can start producing and i can have some of these uh for sale for you guys so stay tuned for that what else did i get the other day oh we went ahead and picked up these uh wild caught sword tail mollies and they're getting adjusted. They're a little scary, so it probably might take them a couple more days to get adjusted to me. Um, but I got plenty of floating plants in there. You can see one of the females, she's chilling, but that male is just beautiful. Look at him. He's real scary though. But that male is really, really beautiful. So these guys are doing amazing. They're gonna be in this 10 gallon for a while until I can start seeing some breeding activity. And once I see some breeding activity, um i might move them to a bigger aquarium um, but right now they, they'll be fine here in this 10 gallon that would do amazing but i think that's pretty much it as far as the fish that i had got the other day uh this tank will be in the next video i believe um stay tuned for that we'll be rescaping this tank so stay tuned for that i uh, got some plans for that so that video will be coming everything goes down here is looking amazing can't complain. Dovi looks good. Green Festive Terrier look good. All the ponds are doing good. 
tons of fish in there, but you just never see them. Flower horns doing good. This guy's starting to grow on me. I haven't decided what I want to do with him, but he's about ready to come out of quarantine. So let me know in the comment section, what should I do with him? Should I move him to this aquarium? Um, put him in here with this other green terror that I have and this Vieja, this bigger Vieja that I have in here. Or should I add him to this 55 once I get a rescape? Let me know in the comment section. I'm just kind of curious to what you guys have to say. But overall, everything is looking good and amazing down here in the fish room. If you guys enjoyed today's video, uh, make sure you guys give this video a big like and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys want me to go back to that pet store and do a full extensive tour, give this video to about 30 likes. If I get 30 likes on this video, I will go back and do a tour of that pet store where I got these fish from. If not, I'm gone. I'll catch you guys in my next video. I'll holler.